Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to make meatballs. Not just any old kind of meatballs, but Königsberger Klopse from the city of Königsberg, now known as Kaliningrad, with a cream and caper sauce. Ingredients for the meatballs, we've got 500 grams of minced meat, a small onion, an egg, 50 grams of breadcrumbs, a teaspoon of mustard, and optionally a teaspoon of anchovy paste. I've just made that myself from some anchovies. And the meats can be veal or pork or beef or a mixture of two or three of those, whatever you like. And then for the cooking broth and later on the sauce, I've got a litre of chicken stock made up from a couple of cubes, uh, the zest and juice of one lemon, 200 ml of double cream, heavy cream, about 50 ml of dry white wine, a tablespoon of capers, a bay leaf, and for garnish, some flat leaf parsley, if you like. I had a request, not just a request actually, he provided the recipe as well, um, from my Patreon fan, Louis Marvick. And so, if you don't like this recipe, it's his fault. And also, I need to do a load of shout outs because I've been missing them recently. So, in Flagstaff, Arizona, hello to Abraham, Marcy, and Aidan. And a shout out to Anne Kane, who should have got one on my Manchester tart recipe, but I forgot, sorry. <laughs> Uh, another one for Liam McIntosh, who wanted me to make a Big Mac copy. I might do, I might not, I don't know. Anyway, we'll see. And also to Cindy French, who just wants a shout out. So, first thing to do, put your stock into a saucepan. Add the bay leaf and bring that to the boil. Now the recipe says peel the onion and grate it, which isn't something I've ever done to an onion before, but there you go. <laughs> and it's very probably something I'll never do again. That was horrible. And there's some scraggy bits that didn't get grated because um, my fingers were getting grated as well. Just pop that in the bowl with the meat and the egg and the breadcrumbs and a teaspoon of mustard. The recipe doesn't specify what kind of mustard you should use, so I'm just going for the standard Dijon and a little bit of anchovy paste. I think I said a teaspoon earlier, but that's probably too much because this is quite strong tasting stuff. Just mix that all together. And now you just want to form that into sort of, well, into meatballs. <laughs> don't make them too big because they won't cook properly. And don't press them too hard, you don't want them you know, to be like dense bullets, you want uh, a bit of lightness in them. And normally with other meatball recipes, I would expect to um, just kind of fry these a little bit, but uh, with this one you don't, you just poach them in the tasty stock. So just pop them in there. That is, uh, it's below simmering, it's just barely, you know, it's just keeping warm. So make sure they're all covered in liquid and just let them and sit there for about 15 minutes. Right, now we'll prepare the sauce. So first of all, you want to get the zest off your lemon. And then get the juice out of it. Right, the meatballs have had their 15 minutes. Um, I've got the oven on low. I'm just going to transfer these to a, an oven proof dish and pop them in the oven to keep warm till we need them. So now I'm putting the stock on the back burner and put it on high heat to <laughs> and put it on high heat to reduce a little bit. And now we can start making the sauce. So the first thing to do is make a roux. Standard white sauce procedure. So I've got um got my knob of butter covered in parsley. <laughs> Just get that melted and add flour. Stir that in, let that cook for a minute or two. Now we can add the stock. Oops. Let that simmer and reduce and thicken for a bit. Okay, that's looking all right. So add the vino and the capers, the lemon zest and the lemon juice. Just let those get to know each other a bit. And then we'll add the cream. Stir that in well, and then we'll give it a taste. <laughs> 
Taste Test Time with Mrs. Keith Court. Oh, that's nice, Lippy. Thank you. <laughs> um, we have got Königsburger. Königsburger. Klopke. Klopse. 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 Mm. So what's this? Is it pale? Is it chicken? No, it's pork. Okay. Could also be veal or beef or a mixture. That's nice. I like that sauce. Mmm. Creamy, but sharp. Mmm. Well, I think lemon and capers. I think fish. Mm. But that works, doesn't it? Oh, let's try it with red cabbage. It is actual Polish red cabbage. That's really nice. I like that. You're doing that thing again. Well, we just stand there and eat, eat food. Mm. <laughs> There you go. <coughs> right, that's a lot. If you liked it, give the like, shares, subs, donations, patronage, stuff like that. Thank you very much and see you next time. Mm -hmm.